Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up family sharing on your iPhones. It's actually really simple and easy to do. All I have to do is head over to your settings to start and open that up. And what you want to do is you want to go to the top to where your Apple ID is. So just click on the top. And then if we scroll down, you will then see there's a family sharing option right here under your Apple ID. So now what you want to do is you want to click on the family sharing option. And then it will say here that we could set up our family or we can learn more. So we can just click on set up your family. And then here we have two options. We can either create an account for a child or we can invite people. Uh, so if you want to go ahead you, to create an account for a child, you can click on create an account for a child. And then it will pop this open here. And it's just going to basically say that family sharing will be set up for you and your child. So you can share locations, purchases, and more. You'll become the family organizer and this child's account will be part of your family until the child is at least 13 years old. So if this sounds like what you want to do, you can go ahead and click on continue here and just go through the process of creating your child's an Apple ID account. Uh, although if you do not want to do that and you already have grown people that you just want to add to your family, uh, we can just exit out of here and we can go back into family sharing. And then here it'll bring us a different menu, uh, as you can see. So I am the organizer of this certain family that we have here. Now, all you have to do to add people is click on add member. And then it'll bring us to the same screen that we had before. We're, this time we're going to click on invite people. And then it's going to pop this open here. So typically all you have to do is send off this invitation to someone on iMessage. Uh, so you can just click on their little name at the top if you would like to, or you can go ahead and click on messages and type in a certain person. Uh, but all you have to do is send it off to uh, someone in your family that you want to invite. I personally don't have anyone right now that I'm going to invite to mine, uh, but this is what you guys have to do on your own once you are at this portion. So let's go ahead and send an invitation off to someone in your family and then uh, we could exit back to here. But this is all the stuff that you guys have access to once you have a person added to your family. So you guys can share your location by clicking on location sharing. You can share your purchases by clicking on this. So if you guys have any uh, purchased apps or anything like that, you guys can share that, as well as like purchase music, movies, TV shows, books, uh, which is really great. And then if you go to iCloud storage, you can also share your iCloud storage. So for me, for example, I have 200 gigabytes, as you guys can see right here. So I'm able to add up to five additional people to my family and share my 200 gigabyte storage if I would like to, which is awesome. And then uh, you could do sharing their screen time and as well as Apple subscriptions. So if you guys aren't aware of Apple subscription services, uh, that is like Apple Music, Apple TV Plus, Apple Arcade, Apple News Plus, and Apple Fitness. So if you guys have subscriptions to those and you have multiple iPhones in your house, it might be worthwhile looking into this uh, as you guys can save money if you guys pull everything together. Uh, anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out or at least clear things up for how to set up your family sharing on your iPhone. If you guys have any other questions, be sure to leave the comment down below. I'll be sure to answer anything that I can. Uh, anyways, I really hope it helped. If you guys liked it, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.